Hi and uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yogini. In today's video, I will be painting something really simple. It is also something that I really like. I am going to paint a letter box today. A post box, a letter box. I love handwritten letters and postcards and uh, a sight of a letter box or a post office especially when I'm traveling to some far off places uh, just coming across a post office makes me really happy so yes today's video is about painting a cute little post box I had actually tried out how my letterbox is going to look so I had a rough sketch outlined already but uh, just so you can see the sketch too I am quickly going to trace over the outlines that I had erased a while ago I am not explaining uh, the, that process in detail you can just simply refer to this sketch or any other reference image, whatever is comfortable to you. So that is how my letterbox looks. Simple, isn't it? You can add more details if you want. I am really sorry about missing a part of the video. I had to pause it for some reason and um, I just forgot to resume recording and missed recording a whole lot of it um, but I'll quickly tell you what I did I had mixed crimson and bansiana as I wanted a reddish but a rusty look for my letterbox because I wanted it to look like an old one an old letterbox but it ended up looking like light red or pinkish in color but that's okay you can um, make it more reddish you can add more you can add a color of your choice really <laughs> and uh, I added a light wash of the color first and then gradually added more of this rust color to the to the body of the letterbox if I have missed out on any details or if you have any questions about any steps or the supplies, do let me know so I can answer them for you. Next, I am adding grey colour to these areas that I had left blank here. I will start with a lighter shade and as I go on, I will add more pigments later.
I'll also add some grass here and um, maybe some flowers too to make it a bit more colorful and lively. I think I'll use my technical pen to draw sharper, crisper lines for the blacks here. I think the color kind of, it's not sharp or crisp enough. Um, yeah, I think I should have waited for the layer to dry before, dry completely dry before I for adding the black but anyway I'll use my pen Okay, the black looks a bit uneven here, so I think I will paint with some more black color here. And here as well.
will let it dry and meanwhile I'll add the logo for Indian Post. The logo is in yellow color actually but uh, since the yellow watercolor won't be as opaque as it should be to use on this red here I'm going to use my gold gel pen for the logo I will also add a tiny lock here that I forgot to add earlier so I'm doing that now with this pen using my white gel pen to add the word letters over this flap here from where we drop in the letters into the letter box I can't remember whether the letter box mentions a PO box number but I wanted to write something over here as it looked too empty maybe you should look up at the actual post box or an image to get this right but anyway that's okay and lastly I'm going to add some blue color around in the background here to make it look like a sky behind above and behind the letterbox our letterbox and uh, also to fill up this blank white space that's all it will take a while to dry but yeah this is how the final painting looks like this is how my letterbox looks like I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you will give it a try all right then I will see you in my next video until then Bye and take care.